This is going to be a reading for Aries. Let's see what's in store for you, Aries. We got so many things going on. Um, whew, it's all about partnerships and love and finances, as it usually is, but with extra emphasis on relationships and finances in relationships. And also the struggle, uh, the classic uh, power struggle, <laughs> projection, all that kind of crap. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to pull a couple of cards for you. And now remember that this reading is general. If you would like a specific personal reading, then you can message me or email me, universalgrayshadow at gmail.com. And if this video resonates with you, please like and share. Okay, so let's see what's going on with Aries this week. Aries. So we've got the sun and the king of swords. Let's see, at least three more cards, please. squeeze my ring tighter. Okay, so we had Ace of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles we first come out. One more card spirit. Nope. Holy cow. I've got a bunch of cards, Aries. Alright, let's see what's in the cards for you. Okay, now the Ten of Pentacles is a uh, came out reversed on top of the sun. So we'll leave that there. Because there's always some kind of symbolism in that. Okay, so the sun. The sun is energy, vitality, everything is going good. You're starting a new cycle. You need to, uh, this is a lot of creativity, and you need to nurture um, anything. You need to just be nurturing and let creative growth, <laughs> let things grow, okay? Uh, give it as much attention as you can. If <clears throat> there's a bad situation going on, this could mean that this is being highlighted, and uh, it could be draining mental energy. I see some mental energy here, but for the most part, I see that the universe is working in your favor. It's forcing you to transform and forcing you to pay attention to something. Now, the Ten of Pentacles did come out on top of this reversed, okay? And this is bun abundance. This is financial abundance and nurturing abundance. So what's... <laughs> Venus retrograde so this is pulling the attention to your finances within your relationship and your relationship so you are identifying what you want and what you don't want in your relationships okay you also have the king of swords which means that uh, this can be an air sign it usually it can be like low vibrational but this means decisive action so Whatever it is that has been getting attention, um, and in this case, it's your finances within the relationship or pro issues with money in the relationship, uh, you're taking action. <laughs> this is a king of swords is somebody who knows the rules, who plays the game, um, is very authoritarian and very, very intelligent. This is intellect. This is the recognition and knowing what you want and what you need. And like I said, it has to do with money in your relationships. Okay, Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is recognition. Okay, so somebody here is going to recognize that there's a need for change. Um, ideas about relationships within, I mean, ideas about money in the relationships. Okay, now these three were kind of segregated. So I have a feeling this is you, but I'll get to that in a minute. I don't. I try not to look at the cards, so I don't. I don't have uh, any of this uh, interfering with this translation until I get to it, and then I can tie it in. So we have here the devil. 
<laughs> so somebody's definitely um there's a lot of light shining on the ways that we screw ourselves um self-sabotage and this is self-imposed the uh, this looks like pluto also pluto um pluto direct working in union with venus retrograde but also we have the new moon in libra coming up too and that's also planting new seeds and relationships this has everything to do with that so right now we're um we're in venus retrograde and in a couple more days is going to be the new moon in libra so this is in the middle the recognition of it um of course it doesn't have to be in in between the new moon and the venus retrograde uh venus retrograde is for 40 days it's actually 42 days but i don't count the beginning day and the end day <laughs> just because i like saying for 40 days and 40 nights it, it's like a um what do you call it it's like a sit-in <laughs> kind of deal <laughs> uh where you protest <laughs> you protest what's wrong you take action and get it against it and there's a recognition here you're going to be awarded for your recognition of the ways that you sabotage yourself with about finances within relationships okay but wow okay aries very nice you have the Prince of Hearts. Now, this is a message of love. So whoever it is, uh, your partner, most likely, they're still going to be telling you that they love you and they're willing to compromise. Okay, magician, you're manifesting some shit now. You see how the magician is willing the water to rise. He's controlling and manipulating the water. Remember now, manipulation is not a bad word. It's just moving an object. Okay, so in this case, the object is water or emotions okay so somebody here your partner is going to be changing their views about finances in the relationship because it's recognized yeah and they're willing to work with you and compromise because they love you you're manifesting some shit okay magician is also the number one card so this is a new beginning in this the high priestess is reversed um we just recently or even right now i'm still vibrating having some psychic activity this, for some reason, oh, okay, this could be the Venus retrograde where love, <laughs> in full effect, uh, where love becomes all-consuming, okay? So you're not really listening listening to your intuition. Um, <laughs> you're more or less listening to your crotch. <laughs> but there's love here. There's love here, so it's okay. It's okay to revel in the energy. More better, it turns out, sexual than violent, right? Okay. So Queen of Pentacles, uh, definitely starting something new, new relationship, new job. Uh, it's a boost in status. This is good fortune. Okay, so it looks like you've got some good things coming your way, Aries. Okay, if you, like I said, if you'd like a personal reading, contact me through Messenger or through my email. It's $25 a reading. Okay, aloha, love you guys.